Hello students, have a nice day. Today we are going to learn about the universe and solar system. Our topic is the universe and solar system. From this lesson we can know about the formation of the universe, differentiate between the members of the solar system, understand the motions of the earth and its effects and different spheres of the earth and their interaction with each other. First one, universe. The universe is a vast expanse of space. Expanse means large open area. The universe consists of billions of galaxies, stars, planets, comets, asteroids, meteoroids and natural satellites. These are collectively called as celestial bodies, which are located far away from each other. A light year is the unit used to do measure the distance between the celestial bodies. I repeat students, galaxies, stars, planets, comets, asteroids, meteoroids and natural satellites are called as celestial bodies. Galaxy a galaxy is a big cluster of stars which are held together by gravitational force. Most of the galaxies are sprinkled in space but some remain in groups. The Milky Way galaxy was formed about 5 billion years after the Big Bang explosion. Our solar system is a part of the Milky Way galaxy. Andromeda galaxy is the nearest to the earth apart from the Magellanic clouds galaxy. The solar system. The word is derived from the Roman word sol which means sun god. The solar system is believed to have formed about 4.5 billion years ago. 4.5 billion years ago. It is a gravitationally bound system which comprises of the sun, the eight planets, dwarf planets, satellites, comets, asteroids and meteoroids. The sun. The sun is at the center of the solar system. Each member of the solar system revolves around the sun. The sun is so huge that it accounts for 99.8% of the entire mass of the solar system. The sun is made up of extremely hot gases like hydrogen and helium. The sun is a star. The surface temperature of the sun is about 6000 degrees Celsius. It is the source of light and heat energy to the entire solar system. Sunlight takes about 8.3 minutes to reach the earth. Planets. The word planet means wanderer. There are 8 planets in the solar system. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. I repeat. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. All the planets rotate anti-clockwise on their own axis except Venus and Uranus. Except Venus and Uranus. The eight planets revolve in their respective orbits because of the gravitational pull of the sun. They do not move out of their pots. Inner planets. The four planets nearer to the sun are called inner or terrestrial planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are called inner planets. The surface of inner planets has mountains, volcanoes and craters. The last four planets are called as outer planets or Zovian planets. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They are also called gaseous giants. 
an asteroid belt is formed between Mars and Jupiter. So inner planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Mercury Mercury is the smallest and closest planet to the sun. It is an airless and waterless planet. It has no natural satellites. Mercury can be viewed in the morning and evening with our naked eye. Next, Venus, the hottest planet. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is called the Earth's twin as it is almost the same size as the Earth. It rotates in the opposite direction to all other planets except Uranus. It has no natural satellites. It is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. It is often visible in the morning and the evening and so it is frequently called as the morning star and the evening star. After the moon, it is the brightest natural object in the night sky. Earth, the living planet. The earth is the third planet from the sun and the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It is called the blue planet or watery planet because Three-fourth of the earth is covered by water. The earth is the only planet in the solar system which is not named after any Greek or Roman deity. It is the only planet known to support life. Life is possible on earth because of the presence of land, air and water. The polar diameter of the earth is 12,714 km and the equatorial diameter is 12,756 km. The earth revolves around the sun at a speed of about 30 km per second. Ok students, we shall complete this section now. On next video, we will see about other planets, comets, satellites, and motions of the earth. Thank you.